So in, in this practical, we'll, we'll just run over how to um, form a technique of chromatography. So what I'm going to do is just to show you how to do the practical. Uh, the background to chromatography will be in your, uh, your lecture notes and also as well in the lab instruction guide. So for this practical, you've got to separate out aspirin, paracetamol and caffeine. So what we recommend for you to have is to have some vials set out, clean vials and labelled the aspirin A, P for paracetamol, C for caffeine and the mixture. And of course you'll have your vials given to you in the labs of aspirin, paracetamol, caffeine and the mixture which you should then try and dilute into solution. So for example if you were given a vial left here which is that this is going to be, for example, aspirin, then we need to take a quantity of this and dissolve it up first. So the other three vials, I've already started to transfer some material out there. So I'll just show you, you only need a small amount. So I'll just use the side of my sweater so you can probably hopefully see a flick of sample in the bottom of the vial, which is about five, 10 milligrams. So you can go to the balance top and weigh this out if you need to, but a, a flick of sample in the bottom of the vial should equate to about 5 to 10 milligrams. So what we'll do here, we'll take some of the aspirin and we'll put it in the vial as appropriate. So we'll hold the vial and the other vial in between the fingers and thumbs as shown and we'll take a small amount of the aspirin Try and fetch it out there so I'll just show you that a small amount of the sample about five to ten milligrams and we'll place it in the vial and that's all we need to make the sample up into solution so now all of the vials need to be diluted to the appropriate quantity with the solvent so we're going to use in this case ethyl acetate you can use ethanol you can use chloroform you can use methanol but we'll take some of the, the solvent ethyl acetate. You could even use the solvent you're using to run the common with, with the tank at this point. But for this one, I'll just take a small amount of ethyl acetate, like a milliliter in volume, to add it to all of the vials. As follows. And then you just give it a shake. You can put the cap on the vial and invert, and give it a shake in that manner and we'll physically observe, uh, we'll look at it, we'll physically observe that the, the crystals have gone into solution. So that's what we need to do for that. We then need to take a clean solvent tank with some uh, filter paper at the back. The filter paper will help to maintain a saturated environment. And in, as of your instruction manual, or your laboratory manual, you should now fill to about a depth of a centimetre at the bottom of the vial with the appropriate solvent. So whatever solvent you've got in the, in the instruction guide, the laboratory guide, you will take the solvent and you'll add it with a pipette maybe until you feel you have a depth of solvent about a centimetre down or a centimetre depth in the tank, so I reckon you probably need for this size of vial uh, container here, you probably need about seven to eight mil of solvent. And then while you're doing other things, put the lid on the the container to help now to maintain a saturated environment. So then you'll need to take the TLC card. So these are uh, silica fronted cards, so they have a rough surface at the front and a plastic bag, you'll need to mark on the rough surface of the front which is silica. Don't start to spot the samples on the plastic back. So you'll need to go towards the silica front. And then you, what you'll need to do is it says in the manual is to mark a pencil line about half a centimetre from the bottom. You use a pencil not a pen because the pen ink can dissolve in the organic solvent. So take the ruler, take a pencil and judge what you feel to be a line half a centimetre from the bottom mark it, don't mark it too hard that you scratch 
the silica off the TLC plate. And then you'll need to mark on each plate, so you'll have two plates to do here, you'll need to mark maybe four spots. So you can spot clean aspirin, paracetamol, caffeine, and the mixture. So you can spot on the appropriate intersections now aspirin, paracetamol, caffeine and mixture. So we've set that up. We then need a TLC spotter and a vial of solvents. And the vial of solvent can either be the solvent that goes into the tank or it can be fresh solvent. So I'm going to take some fresh solvent like capacitate and place it into this vial. Before I do anything, I take the spotter and clean it, and we can see. I'll again use my cardigan. You can see a hopefully a depth of solvent move up the spotter, so the spotter is not blocked. And then we're going to clean out the spotter by the use of some filter paper or tissue paper. We'll clean once, twice maybe three times so we'll make sure that the, the spotter is completely clean and then we're going to take aspirin as a spot and put it on the intersection for aspirin so we might go once we blow on it so it's like ladies doing the fingernails you blow on your fingernails once maybe twice and maybe three times we do that done with aspirin, we'll clean the spotter once, twice, three times, we do the same with paracetamol, so we're going to go once, twice, thrice, clean, 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 we take uh, the caffeine, We're going to go one, two, three, clean the spotter again, once, twice, three times over, and then we're going to take the mixture and we're going to put it onto the mixture once, twice, three times, and then we'll dry that off and clean again until we need it. Now, why I've got the TLC card prepared, so you should wear gloves if you've got greasy fingers, you've just been for your lunch, bag of chips and crisp and you get your grease over the top of the, the TLC plate, that's not what you need, so you should be wearing gloves, but I won't put my thumbprints over the top. So now you'll notice we've got uh, a line where we spotted our sampled on, and you notice the intersections here, they're in the middle part of the, the, the TLC plate, they're not really on the edge over here or here, so if we spotted something here it could quite easily diffuse off the side of the plate, so we should note that when we spot, we try and put the spots in the middle part of the plate, so nothing's really on the edge over here, it can diffuse off the plate. Once you've got your TLC tank set up for a couple of minutes and it's saturated, we will note now we've got a depth of solvent as we see and we just simply hold the card or the sorry the plate at the side of here I'll try and do this where you can see what we're doing you'll notice that the top of the pencil mark is above the top level of the solvent if the solvent was above the pencil marks then once you dip the plate in the samples will immediately diffuse off the intersections and going to the solvent. What we want is the solvent rolling past the intersections until they meet them and then they can set up a competition whether the molecules like the plate or they like the solvent and they can move up and up and up and up and up. So now we're happy with that. We're going to take the tweezers. And we'll place into the tank with tweezers. And we'll put the top on. And we'll let this rise up. So we're going to turn the camera off in a moment until we're ready. So we're going to move it up 
until we get past the pencil marks and then we want the solvent to make its way up to three quarters of the height of the plate. It looks wet and we're going to take it out and mark a pencil line. So we'll stop at this point and you'll join us in a couple of minutes.